everyone hope you're all all right um today is our third wedding anniversary so i've taken today off work and we have driven to old Hunstanton in norfolk um to spend an apparently very windy day at the beach um i'm sorry i haven't uploaded for a while there's obviously been a lot going on with the building works and with ivf etc oh doggies there's a black labrador and a golden labrador with their owners oh they, they look so happy such happy doggos brucey's in the back of the car um marco's just gone to the toilet and to pay for parking so we're just waiting for him to get back um and then yeah we're gonna spend a very windy day at the beach i honestly don't think i've ever come to a beach in england and it not be windy um but i'll be very surprised if neither of us gets blown away today but i'm very much looking forward to it so i thought i'd uh bring you along for the ride we've got um we've just come for it's like 12 o'clock now um, so we've come for the afternoon. We're going to drive back before rush hour. I have got some beef ragu in the slow cooker, um, which I'm really looking forward to making. I've not made it before. Um, so I'm hoping that I do it up to Marco's dad's standard or Marco's not going to be very happy. Um, but we had ragu on our wedding day. So as one of the main meals. So, um, although it was a duck ragu, but I thought I would try and recreate a little bit of it. Um, we did a deep clean of the house yesterday, so we're going to be going back to a very nice, clean house. Um, and yeah, just hopefully a lovely day. So I hope you enjoy being with us. we're getting an ice cream but Bruce gets an ice cream he gets one every time we go out and there's ice creams around he likes a twister ah oh, no you keep hold of the stick okay <laughs> did you find that funny Bruce, what have we got? <laughs> he don't care about brain freeze he just wants his twister <laughs> it was a little bit windy and I think 90% of the things that I filmed <laughs> while we were on the beach I'm not going to be able to actually include in the video because I'll be very impressed if you can actually hear anything lighthouse close I love that I think that's such a nice name um, but we had a good time minus a very windy walk back I mean to be honest even that I thought was quite nice would you agree no, I didn't like that. No, you did. Oh. what if you just This is where we've just burst our tire on the way out. Um, but it was great. Bruce had a really nice time. Um, so yeah, we're now heading home. Oh, there's a German Shepherd over there. I said that earlier. Oh, look. Oh, he's just got in the back of the car. Um, but yeah, so we had a nice time and we're now gonna drive home. Um, make sure that my ragu hasn't like blown up in the slow cooker or anything like that. I'm sure it won't have done, but you know, I love to panic. Um, so yeah, anniversary well spent, I think. <laughs> I love that lighthouse. I think it's so pretty. I just like Norfolk, to be honest. I'd definitely live in Norfolk. Hello. Right, so <laughs> we are home and our delivery has come. So I ordered um, a kit to take my AMH, yeah, to do an AMH test and to do a vitamin D and thyroid test. 
Um, so they've both come today. I got them from Medichex and I have to say, I am really impressed with how quickly they got delivered. I literally ordered them yesterday afternoon and they're here already, so that is amazing. Um, I think I also ordered a um, like microbiome, I don't, know, I don't know if I'm saying that right, microbiome, maybe microbiome test um, from in, in vivo, in vivo healthcare um, or something like that. And that I think has been delivered to my neighbor's house. So I'm hoping it's discreet packaging. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do these now. I'm not really looking forward to taking a prick of blood from my fingertip to be honest. I'm a bit worried I'm gonna get blood everywhere. Um, but we move and we'll see how we get on. So I have to do this as well. Um, right, let's get into this. So yeah, this has also been delivered. I'm really impressed at how quickly they've come. No, it's quick, isn't it? I literally ordered them yesterday while we yeah. were cleaning. Sent them straight away. So these have been delivered in less than 24 hours. So I'm really, really impressed with that. Um, I don't know when I have to do this. I'll have a look at the instructions. I've got a feeling I might have to do this in the morning. Um, I don't, I don't know. We'll have a look at that last. Um, so we are now going to do my tests and get these sent back. Have I got to send them back on the same day? Because if I have them, I need to do them tomorrow. Right. So this one is my AMH. How do I do this? Oh, I can't do it today. I don't think. Because no it's got to go in a priority post box on the same day it was taken. Oh, so you literally have to do it tomorrow and then send it priority tomorrow? Yeah. Hmm. Well, it makes a difference when it's five o'clock now anyway. Yeah, I'd have quite liked to have done it though, and just got it out of the way. Yeah, you have probably posted it way. Get out. Well, if I could have done, but I don't think that... Okay, well, you're not really expecting it anyway for a few days, were you? Well, no, that's true. Okay, so we're not doing this today, but I've had a look through. It looks quite straightforward. Um, it is a case of using one of these, I'll just hold it up. Um, using one of these blue things to prick my finger and squeeze the blood into there. So here I've just got the one, the other one I assume I have to do more than one. Um, so I'll get them sent over, but they have to be done on the same day. So I will do that in the morning. Um, and hope <laughs> hope it all goes to plan and that I do it quite well but in the instructions it does say that if you don't do it right first time um, or you don't get enough blood they will send you another one for free so that's really good that's um, obviously less anxiety inducing so that's wonderful so we'll give that a go tomorrow but that's my AMH, my thyroid and my vitamin D so there's a lot included, which is great. And then the vaginal swab, I wonder if that's something I can do now or whether or not that's something that I have to do in the morning as well. Right, okay, do not collect test samples if you have COVID. I don't have COVID. Um, so you, it comes with a form for you to put your details into, which is great. All the instructions, oh God, these look big and uncomfortable. Seven days prior to collecting sample, discontinue the use of probiotics. 24 hours prior to collecting sample, no sex. Uh, we can't have sex for 24 hours before I do this swab. Well, we'll do it in two days time. <laughs> God forbid you don't have any sex on your anniversary, my love. Well, you're right. <laughs> do not apply any vaginal lotions, creams before taking the test. Do not wash your genital area prior to collection. Do not collect samples when menstruating. Complete the form, take the pH reading, reading, complete the two swabs, arrange sample return. Yeah, so this I'll have to do Monday. Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday are the only days that you can send it, so. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Yeah, because they need guaranteed next day delivery. So. Yeah. That's fine, so I can do that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's not a problem. And then the AMH test and the vitamin D, etc. I will do tomorrow. Right, so, we have all our blood tests there, we have the ragu, cooking. What a time to be alive, what a time to be alive. Hello again. Oh, I feel like today's vlog has been 
really quite random like it's just been the most random things ever i filmed so much footage at the beach um and conversations of us kind of walking and talking and things like that but um it was so windy that you genuinely like you just can't hear a word that i said um and then i got home and i forgot to film but we've just been out um to buy a new tumble dryer actually because our old one used to be in the garage it's been outside now for about five weeks um and yeah it's just old it's battered so we got a new one second hand um it's only been used once so quite happy with that um still quite new still something you can buy um for yeah i think it's something like 440 pounds you can buy it for and we got it for 100 pounds because it's been used once living in some old lady's garage so um quite happy with that so just got home put the dishwasher on had dinner i made enough ragu to feed basically our entire family um we have a tupperware box that no joke is about this big and i have filled it lengthways depth i've filled the whole thing and it's now in the freezer so we're gonna have to have that again next week and probably you know multiple times next week so whoopsie um but yeah i hope you're all okay i thought i'd come on and just kind of update you with the whole ivf sitch um because i've been talking about it a few times on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram you can over at amber.itso um so our plans have kind of completely gone on their head so you may remember that a little while ago i did a video about um the fact that we picked a clinic and that we had decided that this was going to be our last cycle because of the financial side of things etc etc um we basically had like a really long conversation about this and decided that we weren't ready for it to be our last cycle so we've decided to go abroad um we had a consultation with your ivf abroad who clinic matched for us and paired us with i say paired us um matched us with three different clinics and those clinics were instituto bernabeu in alicante um arc in athens and clinica tombra in madrid so we had a look at all of them and we had consultations with instituto bernabeu and with arc um Basically, the one in ARC were focusing on getting our blastocyst to day five and the one in Alicante were speaking an awful lot about genetic testing and chromosome testing and embryo biopsies and all things like this. Um, so we ended up having quite a long conversation about where we wanted to go and what we wanted to do. And to be honest, I don't think I've ever been this confused in my life. Like, we went from having a solid clinic that we loved and still love like there is no animosity or anything there like we haven't left our clinic that we wanted to use in the uk the evewell we haven't lost we haven't left them because we didn't think that they were the right clinic for us we didn't leave them because we felt like we weren't getting the right care there or that their patient care was poor or that you know they weren't willing to try new things or the protocol wasn't right there was none of that we literally have gone elsewhere and have gone abroad for cost reasons and cost reasons only um we did find that with going abroad and having a look into it that clinics abroad are so much more open to investigating the male side of things which was quite important to us given the fact that marco has low morphology and also given how poor our embryo quality has been so things like that were really important to us which definitely influenced our decision uh somewhat but we'd had these consultations and for us it just felt like the right thing to do like we were so sure that this is what we needed to do and it was just a case of finding a clinic which we actually found really hard because you go from having one country to a whole continent and a load of clinics and everybody recommends different ones and we'd kind of narrowed it down to spain greece or prague and they were kind of where we wanted to go um anyway we have now picked a clinic and it's actually taken a really long time for us to make that decision um it's something that I don't know why I've been really anxious about sharing. I, d I don't really know why. Um, I've been feeling a bit strange, in all honesty, over the last few weeks, which is partially why I haven't uploaded in such a while. Um, 
I just have an awful lot going on at the moment and there's like nothing bad going on at all. Um, everything is really good and there's some certain things going on offline that I can't really talk about online at the moment that are taking up an awful lot of our time and there's a lot going on but on top of that as you know I have a full-time job where I'm working nine to five I work on a Saturday in a second job I run innovation fertility which takes up so much of my time which is great and that's exactly what I want it to do I want it to be my full-time job so at the moment I'm working really hard to get that off the ground um and get it to a place where it can be my full-time job I then have the fight for IVF campaign on top of that but my general working day starts at nine o'clock and doesn't finish until 11 o'clock at night and that is near enough every day of the week sundays are my days off but sundays are usually spent catching up with housework or arranging something or other for the week ahead planning on my diaries doing the washing doing the ironing doing everything else um so i don't feel like at the moment i really get a break um obviously in with that i try and film a youtube video edit that record a podcast episode edit that um, and I've just felt a little bit overwhelmed at the moment and in all honesty I think I'm just tired I think um, my period uh, period my period my period is also three months late which is really toying with me at the moment that's really not helping me right now um, it's really having an impact on me I think it's going to be a horrible one because we are now um, I think approaching it because my hormones my emotions have been all over the place I've been really tired my mouth is coming up all ulcered again um, but I can't take my vitamin B12 at the moment because I'm having a test for it in the next few days. Um, and this is, a, it always happens before my period. I get really run down. Um, I get ulcers in my mouth. I'm feeling really tired, lethargic, um, like I don't have any energy and it's really just quite extreme. So I'm just f feeling a bit out of sorts, I suppose. Um, and so when it came to sharing the clinic as well, I just feel like I got a bit overwhelmed. Um, but we have made that decision. We do know who we're going with. I'm really, really excited. The doctor, I have an awful lot of trust in. I really trust what he's saying. Um, so the clinic that we're going to is ARC, um, which is in Greece. And to be honest, we didn't expect to pick them at all. We thought we were gonna go with Spain. Um, but obviously that didn't happen. Um, the reason we chose ARC was I just felt like I trusted the doctor. I felt like he really wanted to help us and I have never been asked so many questions in my life. Um, he had a real focus on actually getting the blastocyst to day five and that was really, really important to us. He wants to do Pixie as well instead of ICSI. Um, so Pixie is effectively a form of ICSI. So you still use ICSI in the sense that they will pick the best piece of sperm, uh, best piece of sperm, but you know what I mean, um, to fertilize the eggs with. But when they fertilize them, they put them in a Petri dish, um, but it's got some kind of science-y science acid in it, um, acid, a gel, which helps them to fertilize and helps them stick. Um, so that was something we were really eager to do anyway. And I think in one of my older videos, it's something that I was talking about. So we were really, really happy when he said about using that. Um, the tests that he wanted us to do were great. He wants us to do the DNA fragmentation test. I have to do my AMH test, my vitamin D test, my vitamin B12 test and a thyroid test. So I've got there the tests that I showed you earlier. So I've got all that downstairs and then I have to do a vi um, a vaginal swab as well to make sure that there's no hidden infections or anything like that so i feel like we've got a plan now we're hoping to go in september um it was a really difficult decision to be honest but all the talks of genetics just kind of scared me a little bit with spain like i just don't feel like i'm ready to go down that route yet i feel like i want to really focus on trying to get those embryos to day five and if again even after trying something else and a different protocol if we still can't get them then we will look at it but um the techniques they wanted to use don't have a great amount of research into them and i just i don't know i just i went with my gut um and it was something that we spoke an awful lot about we didn't jump to a decision um we really took our time making that decision so for us it was the best thing to do um and I am really excited about it. I am really, really looking forward to going to Greece. We've been saying for years that we want a holiday to Greece. We went on our honeymoon in 2018. Um, we went to America for two weeks and did like a 
fly drive holiday in California. We did all of California and then Vegas. Um, and it was amazing. And we, when we got back from that, we were like, oh, maybe next time we go on holiday, we should go to Greece. Um, and then obviously we were diagnosed as infertile and all of our money has gone into making a baby. So we haven't gone on holiday. Um, so two birds, one stone. We go to Greece, we have a great time. Um, it might be a case of, I think, realistically i have to be out there for about 10 days to two weeks so there's a good possibility that i will be going on my own for the first part of it um which is fine quite happy to do that um my friend will come with me i won't be completely on my own um but we'll go and then marco will fly out when marco needs to fly out because obviously he's self-employed and him not working for two weeks i think i'm gonna have to take some of it off unpaid or work in greece um so yeah, it's it just makes more sense for us to do it that way. The logistics we've still got to figure out. Um, but we've got his DNA fragmentation test booked in in a few weeks, I think. I can't remember what it is. I can't remember if it's the middle of June or the middle of May. I think it's the middle of June. Um, and yeah, that's where we're at. Um, but I thought I'd just share with you which clinic we decided, as I felt like I was keeping a secret, but I just didn't feel ready to for whatever reason I don't know I don't really know why um I think I just wasn't in the headspace to have loads of conversations about why we picked it or or what I don't know I just didn't want to and that's about it really um but yeah it's been really nice sitting and catching up with you I hope you've enjoyed this video um I've also hit eight, uh, 800 subscribers which is great so thank you and hello to everyone who is new here and hasn't been here since um I last uploaded I will do a video where I actually show you the kitchen because it is nearly finished but I do want to wait until we've got all the final touches in before I do um like a reveal video I suppose but yeah so that's that. I will leave you to enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button down below uh, and I will see you during the week on Instagram. Um, also, if you are impacted in any way, shape or form by infertility, um, with Innovation Fertility, you can now get a month's free membership. So you do get a free trial when signing up. So do head over to innovationfertility.com um, for free access to loads of webinars, to the podcast, to different resources, um, to yoga, to meditations, all on demand. Um, I put my heart and soul into it and really, really hope that you love it. So do head over to innovationfertility.com for your free membership. Um, well, free month membership anyway. Um, but yeah, so that is that. And yeah support groups are monday to thursday there's loads of different ones so if you do want to join them check them out as well um but i will see you during the week on instagram i can't stop yawning um marco's client has bought us a bottle of champagne for our anniversary so we're going to go downstairs and drink that and eat ice cream and that's how we're going to spend our night so have a great day and I will see you all next week um, and I will now get back into the habit of uploading every week. I am sorry I had a little hiatus um, but I hope you can forgive me. Um, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.